For nearly all of his 86 years, Jacques Fresco has been designing cities of the future. This is what it looks like, a future where technology is harnessed for all and money has no relevance. It's called the Venus Project, and he says 50 million people around the world are now involved or aware of it. Pour cela, sachez-le, the Venus Project, le projet Venus. El proyecto Venus comenzó al industrias que genial at Jacques Fresco. You may not have heard of Jacques Fresco, but he is known around the world. Documentaries have been done about him. Magazine writers from Europe have written stories about him. I've now come to the other side of the world, to Florida, to a place called the Venus Project, to meet a man who has a very clear vision of what he thinks the future of cities should look like. Fresco's vision goes beyond architecture. He sees his cities as tools for fostering humanistic values. I feel that environment shapes our values. The people we know, the people we identify with, what will drive people in the future? A world without war, without hatred, without bigotry, without prejudice. The future isn't Star Wars, according to Jacques. It's a home for everyone. This is what I mean. Jacques thinks he has the answer in the city of the future. We'll show a world in which values are different. The aspirations of people, they have compassion, feeling for one another, concern over the environment. He's a self-educated industrial designer, engineer, and futurist who truly believes the ills of society can be cured only if we throw away the rules that govern it and ourselves. A resource-based economy states that if you declare the Earth and all its resources as the common heritage of all of the world's people, there's no need for armies, navies, police, prisons. None of that's necessary if people have access to their needs. Now, we'll start with this, and you tell me... I'll try to point it out. Yeah, you can point right at it. The center of a city, the nucleus, will house an electronic computer. The computers do not control people. All the machines do is control the physical entities that comprise the environment. You can't be human or decent without the knowledge to overcome scarcity. He was talking about this stuff before it became trendy, before it became popular, before Al Gore started talking about it. To save our land, to save our environment, we've got to reorganize our way of thinking and reconsider our social aims what you... toward uh, the brotherhood of man. If you had a free society, you couldn't get people to go to war. If you had an intelligent type of upbringing in one's children, they would say there must be many other ways of solving problems other than killing people. We had him on the show. It was quite an honor. It was, for a long time, the most watched show. And it's not just an economic platform or a technology platform. It's really a different way of looking at humanity. Now here they take a group of scientists and engineers and they work on flying machines. You give them a flying machine, they use it to bomb cities. So how can a person be scientific if they have allegiance to their country rather than to the Earth and everyone on it and the intelligent use of resources? This would be a scientist to me. He is the founder of the Venus Project, which integrates science and technology for a new society based on human and environmental concerns. The primary function is to maximize the quality of life rather than profits. Mr. Jacques Fresco. We have to learn how to manage real economics, not for profit, for human betterment. Then you'll see the beginning of a civilized world. It must be a privilege to serve members of society. Not that we want rewards or medals or honor for what we do, because it is just an honor to do it. You don't always communicate with people. Jacques' work gave meaning to so many people's lives, and I feel very grateful to be one of them. There is nothing else I see that's more viable to work on that would bring such positive change to the way we live. I welcome your participation as I continue introducing this direction to others while taking whatever steps possible toward a saner world. And I am so grateful for those who are working with me.